Hey guys, Josh here, and say your name. Oh, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna. Aaron went to a garage sale recently and picked up some stuff and bought me some stuff and picked up some stuff stuff for himself. So we're gonna kind of show that. Um, let's show the. Uh, yeah, let's show what you got first. Okay. Check yep. this out. They had a few pla a couple plastic, but then they also had this metal Gremlins uh, lunch pail. Show the bag. Driving a vet. And then it also had the thermos inside. And it's in really good shape, too. I mean, it's in pretty good shape. It's clean inside. Yeah, that's what that's what I was, uh, I don't know how, yeah, just twist off? Yep. Oh, okay. That's what I was impressed with. This is, like, really clean. There's and a little. It's a little bit of fading on this, but, I mean, heck, it's 1985, you said? Or four? Um, four, I believe. Somewhere on here. So yeah, yeah that's 80, 80, 84, sweet. But yeah, the inside has a small amount of rust. But dude, some kid was like super cool back in 1985 with this. Seriously. Yeah. Because like Gremlins was one of those movies that was kind of well, like actually, bad. Right here. Blue. Um, Dan. Dan. You lucky son of a gun. Wherever you're Dan. at, you are very lucky. And also, <laughs> dude, like Gremlins is one of these movies that pushed towards a PG-13 rating because it was rated PG, and. This and the Raiders of the Lost Ark was one of the reasons why they had to do a PG rating because there's only PG or PG-13. There's only PG and R, and so uh, lots of parents were taking their kids to this. And like you remember how it was kind of crazy. I mean, it wasn't like super bad, but like they were killing stuff and like blending them in blenders and blowing them in microwaves and stuff. And so a lot of parents were like really ticked off. They're like, "This is not a PG movie." And so they this and the Raiders of the Lost Ark when he pulled that guy's heart out in Raiders. Like, and stuff. Like, that's two movies of the reasons why we have a PG-13 rating now. So, And I'm very sad to say that I don't even think I've actually watched this movie all the way through. What? I know. Are you kidding? I can't believe I'm going to miss Bro! <laughs> you just lost some points there, bro. <laughs> yeah, that movie's really good. You need to watch it. But I'm going, yes. I'm okay. definitely going to watch it. Okay, man. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, what's up next, man? And then I seen this. Turtle, turtle game from I think it's from 1987. Uh, it says it's from Rose Art. Looks like yeah, box is in pretty good shape. There's a little few little tore up corners, but and it's and it's missing a few few of the pieces inside, but it still has the the board and and you only paid two bucks for yep. it. Yep. So two bucks. Like you can't like on these classic board games. Like, I feel like people need to buy these and preserve them. Because, like, kids nowadays don't want to play a board game. Like, we love playing board games as kids. Yep. Kids, they want to just play their tablet and stuff. So, like, we buy these games and we'll keep them and keep them, you know. Like, there's several board games I'd like to rebuy again and have. Fireball Island. He wants Fireball Island, which had I it. don't know if he's going to have that I one. did have it. I had all the pieces from a garage sale. Look it. up Fireball Island. Watch the nerd, uh, Angry Video Game Nerds review of it, because it is sweet. So if you're out there and you have my old one, you're very lucky. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's show next what you you bought me. So I was at work and I said, and I got a message. He said, "Do you want these five dollars a piece?" I said, "Yeah, man." I and he he had five, and I said, "Well, see if we'll do all five for twenty." And he brought me back. He said, "Yeah." So they're the old LJN wrestlers. It's really cool. This is Hillbilly Jim. These are from uh, 1984, dude. I was like one years old. And I had, a, I remember having a lot of these. I had this one as a kid. I know that. Um, this is, like I said, Hillbilly Jim. It's funny, like these wrestlers, like that you can't even move. They're just like rubber. Like they're better like weapon than anything. You like hit somebody. Like they're heavy, aren't they? Yeah. Just and they're like solid rubber. Like seriously. <laughs> then you had uh, a manager from back in the day. His name's uh, Classy Freddie Blassie. Missing his microphone, but or a cane or something. Or cane, whatever he had. Um. So yeah, that's cool. I've actually never really seen this one when I've been at grad sales or flea markets. So that was cool to see that one. And then this, I think, is uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I'm not 100 percent sure about that. So if you know who this is, let me know. Um. So yeah, his nose is a, like uh, like somebody rubbed it on the pavement, but but yeah, still pretty cool. Um, but yeah, really bland. But he's got the headband. That's what makes me think he's Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And he's kind of like, uh, kind of looks like him though, don't he? Uh, next up is um, 
crap. Oh, George the Animal Steel. And I had this one as a kid, too. And the tongue is in really good shape. Like, my tongue on my figure was all faded, and it wasn't that color no more. And uh, so, yeah. And you can tell, look, at he's, like, really hairy. But like, they didn't, like, color the hair, so it's just, like, the color of his skin. It's funny. But, uh, but yeah. So that's cool. George the Animal Steel. Next up is, the last one, is Captain Lou Albano. This is a really cool one to have. He's a manager. And I also had this one as a kid. Um, so, yeah, I think I had a lot of these at my other, my grandma's house. And she had them. And so, but he was a manager as well. So, um, yeah, I like that he has a shirt with himself on it. I'm the action figure. <laughs> so, yeah, he was crazy, this guy. I heard stories about him that he would, like, drink, like, two bottles of like whiskey and then like go out and like be a manager and act nuts seriously <laughs> swear to god um but yeah he always like wore rubber bands like on his face and then like on his like hair and stuff see that like he like somehow like had rubber bands right around his skin or something it was like weird but yeah so yeah those are the pickups we got so that was cool so aaron got a couple really cool things i got a couple things from my collection so yeah never always hit up your garage sales and flea markets you never know what you can find. So you're happy about your pickups, Aaron? Yep. Yep. And you'll just keep those and show them. Um, yep. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe.